Casa de Santo Tomas, a truly unique custom home, was completed in 2010 on a prime Rancho Santa Fe Covenant three-acre parcel. It consists of timeless early California architecture with a contemporary flair and modern sustainability technology. Well, the first time I saw this house, I was really impressed with the interior, the playfulness, the light, the uniqueness of the interior so that it lends itself to many different ways of living and enjoying a property. This peaceful and private location has ideal topography for panoramic vistas of rolling hills along the horizon. The house was constructed for indoor-outdoor living at its best. There is a beautiful pool and spa, a tree house, a zip line, a tennis court, a guest house, a huge 800 square foot open estancia or outdoor living room. It is the ultimate for enjoying the best weather in the entire world. The hallways are wide with wood beams and corbels. The master baths offer tumbled marble and onyx. The floor is heated with dual zones for two people. Also, his side of the master bath has a morning kitchenette with built-in fridge, ice maker, and espresso machine. What really stands out with this house is that you live in the whole house. There are no real mystery rooms. The whole house is open, it's bright, you go from one living area to the next, and you really get to see all of the house. Every time I approach a project, I get to know my client. This particular homeowner is a love color. And the other piece is they kept using the word happy. So for them, they parlayed color as happy. If you go through the home, you'll see a lot of color in large pieces, which I think works because the palette itself is so neutral. I had a lot of leeway in this house, especially in the powder baths. We have one that we call it the uh, bedrock. It's got a ton of color, but it's got a cloisonne sink with dac stone. There's actual rain catchers, and we use a Peruvian door as the divider. Tim Holcomb has a tendency to um, import doors from different countries. The dining room houses what you call a china cabinet, but it's a design feature, so that's an imported door with the rice oars. The other thing that we did do was take drum chairs and some dundons, and they're the base of a palm, and monkey pods, and other organic wood features from Thailand. So a lot of the imported pieces we used in the furniture, and then we also used it as the artwork in the house. The land itself kind of lends to the design of the house. So its design is dictated by the topography. We try not to grade a property to change its topography. We try to keep it as rural and as natural as possible. And so that really tells us where courtyards are gonna be and outdoor areas are gonna be, which are the most important aspect of the house. Then that leads us to where do we live? And so that places our kitchen and that leads us to where do we sleep, and that place is our bedroom. I started designing this property in 2009, and we spent almost a year on design and a year on building it. So you spent a lot of time on the property, on site, drawing and taking pictures and getting an idea of where things should go, what feels right to where they should go. 